Okay, Elemental people. So yesterday I did a video on how to create background pattern classes uh, for textured backgrounds with SVGs um, using the Bricks Builder system. Um, now Bricks has a built-in class system which makes that very easy to do. Uh, Elemental doesn't have that built-in class system but it can still quite easily be done in Elemental and I wanted to show you how that works. So we're going to use patterns from this site here, pattern.monster. I'll put a link in the description. And I'm going to start with a blank page with nothing on it but a title. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is going to add a section. And just a standard section will do. And maybe we'll give that some padding top and bottom. Just so that we can see some of the patterns. So I'll just give it 80 at the top, 80 at the bottom. Uh, and we'll put some content in there just so it takes up some space. Text editor, my favorite Bob Ross, Laura Mips in here, and chuck some text in there. Oops, we didn't copy. And maybe what we'll do is we'll make the first line there a heading two, just so we've got some space being taken up. So it's a very basic, plain old um, section with some copy in it. Now what we're going to do is put a background texture on this um, section here. So what I'm going to do that, I'm going to create a class. And the class doesn't exist yet, so I'm going to create it. I'm just going to call this bg-pattern. I'm going to use the two dashes for a BIM modifier. I'm going to call this, uh, well, actually, what, it's, what pattern we're going to use first? Maybe we'll use the herringbone. So I'll call this herringbone. There you go, just make it all lowercase so it makes sense. So I've got BG pattern herringbone, which isn't going to do anything yet. Okay, now we need to create a class for that. So in Bricks, we would just add it from the top here. In Elemental, you've got to create it. If you've got Pro, we can go into Site Settings, uh, Custom CSS. If you haven't got Pro, you need to do it in uh, Customizer. Uh, I think it's called Additional CSS or, or, and the, or your Code Manager, whatever you use. I'm going to show you to do this in the actual Elemental Pro uh, builder. I might just zoom in a little bit on that too so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to paste that class name I just created. Actually that didn't... What's going on with my copy and paste today? So I'll just type that in there. So BG, uh, what I call it, pattern, herringbone. Okay, so we've created a class called BG pattern herringbone. Head over to this herringbone class and see I've only got the two colors. The trick here is we're going to make the first color transparent, so you get a hex, drag it all the way to the bottom of black, and then just drag that transparency slider all the way to the left, so we've got a completely transparent black. Grab our yellow here, and we're going to make that a actually hex, so we get rid of all the hues and everything, and make that hex white, which is FF, FF, FF. And there we go, there, there's our pattern there. So we're not going to change any of the opacity here. We'll do that in the actual code. So what we need to do is copy the CSS. So clicking on the CSS button copies the CSS background image property for that. If we click SVG, it just copies the SVG HTML code. So copy CSS, head back to our patterns and paste that into there. Okay, so there we are there, did that work correctly? I think it did. Double check that I've got this. Ah, I didn't put the two dashes. So two dashes there, and straight away we see our herringbone pattern come up over here. Now the first thing you'll notice is that it's too white. It's So what we want to do is put some transparency on it. So looking at the code we just pop, pasted into this box here, there's a couple of things that we're going to change. The reason I've stuck to two colors and using the stroke is so this is easier to show you. If we read through what we've got here, the first one we want to look at is our scale. So we've got a scale here and the default is two. If I change that to one, you see this whole pattern scale change? So you can change that to whatever works for you in this design. So let's say we want a scale of 0.6. We've got a very, very tight little pattern here. 0.8, it's a little bit bigger, maybe we'll leave it on that. All right, so then we come down to the fill, which is none, and 
we've got a stroke here, which is HL, sorry, HSLA, so hue, saturation, lightness, and uh, alpha. So it doesn't matter what the hue is, doesn't matter what the saturation is, because we're dealing with black and white anyway. So actually the saturation should be zero. So this is saying it's white. If I put that on zero, it's gonna make it black, which we're not gonna see on this black background. So what we might do here is change the opacity or the, um, uh, what they call the uh, A for alpha, change it to 0 0.3. We can see that change here, but still probably a little bit too much. So maybe a bit too much, so maybe 0.2, still a little bit too much, maybe 0.15, there we go. I think that's okay, we can kind of see it in the background and it's a nice scale. So there is our pattern done, all right? I'm going to save that and then go back to our editor. And I'm going to duplicate that section there. And what happens if on the section here we have a light color? So let's say we put a color in there of our accent color. All right, doesn't look too good with the text, but let's just say, actually just brighten that up even more. Let's say we have a color like that, all right? And we make our text black. Uh, there you go, we'll make a heading up here, that doesn't matter. So anyway, we've got a bright background, we can very hardly see that herringbone pattern. So let's create another one. Let's call this one herringbone on the container, herringbone, and we'll add a dash dark. So. The BIM naming is it's a BG pattern. Dash dash means it's a modifier and it's herringbone dark. Okay, so that's that's it there. Let's go to our site settings. Uh, da, 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 custom CSS. And we're gonna copy all that. Paste it there and we're gonna add a dash dark. Okay, and in that dash dark, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our stroke from having an HLSA of 100, we're gonna change that to zero, which makes it black. Now we can see the, the herringbone pattern on top of that light background because we've made it black just by changing that one number. Maybe if we want a little bit more of it showing through, we might make it 0 0.2, uh, maybe 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So you can see it changing on the right hand side, you can see it changing as I change that number. So let's make that a 0.2, and there's our herringbone done, okay? Take that, I'm gonna do one more, and I'm just gonna duplicate that again. Now on this container, we're going to make another pattern, but we're gonna use the fill. You can use three colors here as well. Let's use the fill stroke, the fill patterns, and just use two color again. Again, you can come back to this and you can use the um, multicolored ones if you want to, but it just gives you more colors that you need to change. Let's say we like, I don't know, maybe this leaves pattern here. So we'll click on that. Again, grab the first one, hex, black, fully transparent. Second color, hex, make it white. So we get a white color there. I mean, this could be one, another color that you're using. You can even use a variable uh, in the uh, SVG if you wanted to. But let's just make that white. Uh, we're gonna copy the, actually let's not copy the CSS, so that's, that's the pattern we want. We're gonna call this leaves. So let's create this one here. So that middle container. And we're gonna change the BG pattern to leaves. Okay, copy that. Head over to our site settings. And we're going to add a new class, BG pattern leaves. Back to here, copy our CSS, go to our patterns, paste that in there, and we've got leaves. All right? Way, way, way too white. Let's find our fill. I think we did this with fill, didn't we? We did with fill, the stroke is none. The fill is 100 there, so let's make that 0 0.3, okay? 0 0.2, 0 0.1, okay? 
So now you can see these patterns in the background here. Let's go up to our scale, make it a scale of four. So we've got big leaves in the background, okay? Make that a scale of 0.4. Tiny little leaves that look like dots. So really, really simple. So all you need to do is select the pattern you want. We're working with a two color, whether it be a stroke or a fill. Make the first color transparent. Uh, and then the second color white, um, paste it into a rule here, and you're done. Now, one quick caveat here that I need to make sure you understand is that I made the mistake of, uh, and my first one of the time I did this, so I made this um, white. So I made the first one white, and I made the second one black. And that doesn't show in this editor, it doesn't show that a problem. And what happens is that when you use the CSS code generated from this, it works on my PC in Chrome desktop, right? Works beautifully, I get a transparent background, I don't get the white, I get a transparent, not a white. Uh, when I look on my iPad, the background's all white. So it's very different. So you gotta make sure your first color is completely transparent, otherwise it will not go transparent on all devices. It'll only for some reason it works on Chrome desktop on a PC. Don't know about Apple Mac, uh, but it does not work on an iPad unless this uh, first color is fully transparent. So that's it, that's creating patterns for uh, backgrounds. Then all you need to do is go to a class and add a new one. So I could basically create a new, actually let's do one more example here. I'll create a, a row with two columns uh, I'll stick some Bob Ross in here. I'll grab some more Bob Ross. And I'll put it inside there. So we've got a text editor. Uh, duplicate you. Uh, let's put some padding on there so we can see what's going on. So padding a 40. Same as on this column here. Okay, now, so let's say on our left-hand column, we want a uh, this leaves pattern. Okay, easy. All we do is class uh, bg dash pattern dash dash leaves. Here we go, we've got our leaves on the background here. All right, even if we change the color of that to be a lighter color, let's try that. So we change that to be a uh, what have we got here? So a gray three. So we've got a gray background. We can still see the leaf pattern on top of it. Let's go to the next one and we'll call this one, uh, we'll call this BG pattern. Uh, what did we call this? Um, hex. Yep, we've got a hexagon pattern there. I can see. And let's change the background color on that column as well to be a different color. In fact, even if it was a image, you'd see it. So let's make that a gray too. Uh, you can't really tell probably in the video, but that's okay. Uh, make that our accent color, primary, secondary variation, yeah? So secondary variation color, and you can see the hex pattern on this column, the leaves pattern on that column, and all we've done is added the uh, class, uh, the class name here. Uh, to get that effect. So it's easier to do it in Bricks because of the class builder system that they have, which just appears up the top left here, but it's still doable quite easily in Elementor. So uh, don't fret, and uh, I, hopefully this is something that you can use and uh, will be value to, valuable to you. So if you like this kind of thing, hit the subscribe and hit the like. Thank you.